Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see here, there's a new Hackchi out. Yes, Hackchi CE version 3.51 has released recently. So let's go over some of the features in this update. So some under the hood stuff. There's an update for Windows 7 compatibility. People using that version of Windows were having some errors when they tried to um, sync their games or install the driver, that has been fixed. The driver installer will launch if it is needed, if it's not already installed. And if the driver is already installed, the button will be hidden so you cannot install it again. Apparently there is Linux support, kind of. Um, you just have to make sure that LIB USB is installed. I don't know what any of this is, by the way, but if you're a fan of Linux and you want HackG on there, you can kind of run HackG on Linux. RetroArch Core info was updated. There is now support for the Shonen Jump console. If the shift button is held while hitting the uninstall button, the kernel backup will be ignored. Recovery mode now supports Wi-Fi with the latest supplicant. Then it looks like a whole bunch of other fixes. If you go to the modules tab, you'll recognize the mod store, um, but you'll see down here a manage mod repository option, which means you can create your own mod store if you wanted to. You can see here that there's a KMFD mod hub. So he took a page from HackG resources and it was implemented into this new version of HackG. Under the tools tab, under open FTP client and Telnet client, you remember there used to be addresses here. Well, those are no longer here because they are no longer needed. You don't even need additional software to use these clients anymore. If we hit FTP client, you'll see here we have access to what's inside of your classic system, all the folders right here, something you would have normally used with FileZilla. You don't need that anymore. It's all right here and it's all at the push of that button. The same goes with a Telnet client. We're greeted with Telnet. If you hit root, you're logged in. No more extra software needed for these. It's just push that button. Another new feature is game archiving, where if you want to put your games on another version of Hackchi, it's made a lot easier. I have three games here. If you highlight all of them, right click, archive selected games. And you're gonna select the output folder where you're gonna put these games, hit okay, and the games will appear in that folder. You can see here they are CLVG files. That's not a specific file type. It doesn't belong to any kind of program. It's just what they decided to do for these files to help with compression. These are very compressed games. And when it's time to add them to your friend's HackGee or wherever you're gonna put them, just highlight them, drag them into HackGee. And there they are. So that's pretty much everything that comes with the new version of HackGee CE. If you wanna know more, go to the GitHub page, check out the readme files, all the documentation is right there for you. If you have any questions, you can find most of the developers on the Hackshi Resources Discord channel. So huge thank you to Team Shinkansen and Mad Monkey for continuing to bring out all these great updates to an already awesome program that many, many people have gotten a ton of use out of. They just keep putting more and more out with this thing. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.